Hi there, it's Simon again from RC Hobbies Gold Coast. Um, we're going to talk about the Habeo Hyper 7 TQ Sport now. This is a 1 8 scale buggy. Um, with 1 8 scale buggies, it's just such a huge market. Like there'd be 40, 50, 60, 70 different brands on the market. This one's been around for a long time. It's uh, been reinvented with um, upgrades and stuff. But it's a great looking 1 8 scale buggy entry level car. Um, Parts are very available. Uh, there's nothing on the car I can't get and quickly. Uh, this one now comes with a Hyper 21 3.48cc motor. Uh, good looking car, good looking layout. Entry level once again, comes now with a 2.4 radio. Comes with some basic stuff like your glow spanner, your fuel bottle, comes with a well sought out manual. It is nitro, so once again, it's high maintenance. It's not for everyone. It's for people that like working on cars. If you don't like working on nitro cars, do not get this car. If you like working on them, this is a car for you. Okay, we'll um, pull the body off now and we'll have a look underneath the shell. Okay. Uh, same thing again, entry level, but it does come with some good gear. Like, it's got a hyper, Effort approved racing pipe if you were going to go racing. Uh, it's got a very nice little fuel tank, good spring, good seal. Uh, it does come pull start. There is a roto start available for it. If you're going to go racing and you put in more exotic racing motors, none of the motors are pull start or roto start. They all start off the flywheel, which is underneath the vehicle. You've got like little teeth on here, and that's where a starter, book, starter box hooks up, and that's obviously something that you buy extra for these vehicles. Um, servo wise, it comes with very basic servos once again, as it is entry level and the price dictates that. You have in here, um, that particular servo is only around the three kilo mark and same with the throttle brake. As I showed in other videos, that's something you could upgrade very easily. If I was choosing a servo, I'd obviously choose that one or that one. Uh, these are both lower grade, two and a half, three and a half, seven kilo, 20 kilo. And how these servos work, when you're applying the brakes on these vehicles, the more power you got, in other words, seven kilos or 20 kilos, that's gonna apply the brakes a lot better. If you've got little three kilos, it's like a feather trying to apply it and not much luck. But you will get by with it, it's entry level, you'd expect them to break. Um, same thing again, you go around, you lock tight the vehicle, lock tight all bolts on the vehicle. Everything's gonna come loose on this vehicle if you're not careful, I'm just being honest with you. Um, what else could I say? Fuel through this, you'd run 20 to 25 percent nitro. Um, servicing air cleaners, keeping them clean. This one here has um, the batteries on board, which is four double A's. That's not something I'd really recommend, but that'll get you started. I'd always go for something like this. This particular vehicle comes with a special holder, um, which will actually take that battery. So in place of this, that goes in there. That is rechargeable, it gives more power to the servos. That's exactly what you want to put into it. Um, what else could I say? All parts available, very tough platform, very nicely built, good looking car. If you want to go nitro and you enjoy nitro, this is the vehicle that I'll be picking too.